morning, Panthers, and welcome to WPAN, your Panther News Network. Good morning, students and staff. Welcome to the Hayes Morning News. I'm your host, Brent Eddington. And I'm your host, Kanan Thacker. Today is Tuesday, March 6th, 2018. Now let's stand for the pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Today's lunch will be energy saving today, so you will be having a deli sandwich variety and Cheez-Its. ETA's Middle School Library will hold a Scholastic Book Fair March 19th through March 23rd. We need parent volunteers to help us through regular school hours 9 a.m. to 3.55 p.m. If your parent or guardian would like to volunteer, please have them contact Ms. Butler at Tonight.butler at fayette.qsschools.us. Collect food for God's pantry. Next week, there will be food barrels located in each grade hallways. A competition between teams to see who can bring in the most food will go through till March 16th. So go through your pantry and bring in non-perishable items to fill your team's barrel. Remember that this food drive is for a good cause. National Beta Couple Celebrate Transform Yourself Tuesday. Once a student joins Beta Club, they can't help but to be transformed by the positive experiences. The members receive recognition for academic achievement, grows in character, and most importantly, develops a passion for serving others. At Hayes, Beta Club has changed 600 students for over five years. Seventh graders, are you ready to grow, change, and be transformed? Next year, you will have the opportunity to join Hayes Beta Club. It will be the best decision you have ever made. Good morning, Panthers. This is Coach Poindexter. It's springtime, and so that means it's almost time for spring track. Uh, on Monday, March the 12th, we'll have a short meeting after school, uh, just informational. We'll sign up, get a tryout number, uh, those, and get some information across to you. That that is on Monday, March the 12th. Tryouts will begin Thursday, March the 15th, at Henry Clay from 5.30 to 7 o'clock. We'll, we'll be trying out at Henry Clay's track from 5.30 to 7 o'clock on Thursday, March the 15th. On that Monday, on the 12th, we'll give you a schedule of the days that we're trying out and uh, those sorts of things. Eighth graders that are going on the eighth grade field trip, you will obviously be out of town on the 15th. You will try out when you get back to town. All, and that will be on Monday the 19th. Uh, something this year uh, very exciting for sixth graders. This year we're going to have the very first sixth grade championship uh, track meet. And so sixth graders were really excited about that. Opportunity for you to run against other sixth graders in the county. Uh, so um, if you have any questions, you can come by my room, uh, room uh, 202. But I hope to see you on Monday, March the 12th, and we'll go from there. Thank you so much. Hey, good morning, Panthers. Coach Pack here. Uh, the administration wanted me to get on the morning news and make these announcements uh, just to ensure that we have a successful end of the school year. Uh, first and foremost, uh, some of us in this building are having issues with adults, okay? Uh, that needs to change. Adults are in charge when you're on these school grounds. Uh, you will do what they ask you to do, and they are to be treated with respect. Uh, this goes for in interactions with administrators, teachers, custodians, subs, student teachers, 
uh, etc. Whoever, if they're an adult in this building or on this school grounds, then you need to treat them with respect. If you cannot do this, then you need to find another middle school to attend. Plain and simple. Uh, blaming adults. Some of us want to blame adults for marks, um, for infractions that they're getting throughout the school day. Stop blaming adults. Okay, stop blaming teachers. Take some ownership. Um, if you don't like the situation and you're in, then do something about it to change that situation. Educate yourself. Work hard. Uh, it's not going to be easy. I'm not going to sit here and tell you it's going to be easy, but it's going to take hard work, and, and that's all on you. Okay? Dress code. Hoodies. Take them off when you're in the building. Uh, if a teacher or staff member has to tell you more than once to take it off, then you will remove that jacket or hoodie for the remainder of the day. Okay? Uh, if you catch yourself wanting to put your hood on, simply just don't wear the hood or jacket to school. Problem solved. Okay, uh, this is one of the reasons why students are receiving detentions, and to be honest with you, it's ridiculous. Okay, so fix the problem. Holes in jeans, cover them up, change, or better yet, don't wear them. Okay, just like the hoodies, don't wear them. If it's out of dress code, then don't wear it. It's plain and simple. Uh, guys and girls, not going to pick on just the girls, but warm weather's coming up. Shorts need to be fingertip length. Okay, if they're not, don't wear them. You're going to be sent home to change, or you're going to be asked to call someone to bring you something to change. Okay, if you don't want a uniform policy in place, then follow the rules. It's pretty simple. Uh, one more thing to address, cafeteria. Okay, get everything you need before you sit down. All right, sit at your assigned tables. This has been a problem lately. If you do not sit in your assigned area, then you're going to be simply assigned safe for the day. Okay. Clean up after yourself. People are starting to leave messes. It's not mine, it's not mine. Well, guess what? Somebody's gotta take care of the school, so it might as well be on you guys. All right, talk at a normal voice level. All right, this is becoming an issue too. People screaming, beating on tables, chanting. No, okay? If you don't wanna sit at a zero voice level in the cafeteria, then just talk at a normal voice level, enjoy the conversation with your friends, all right, but don't be screaming. Uh, again, if you don't like the way we do things here, then please find another middle school to attend. All right? And uh, not trying to be mean or anything, but we want a successful end of the school year. And with testing getting ready to start up, we need to tighten this ship up a little bit. Thanks. Have a great day. This concludes today's morning news. Now let's sit in the pit of the promise. Learn, Learn daily, daily, laugh often, leave respectfully, and live responsibly. responsibly. Have, Have a great, great day, Panthers! Panthers.